let me show you something really amazing. We've got some mineral water here that we've been cooling for a bit. And we want to take these bottles quite gingerly. Why don't you take this and bang it on the table? Just bang it. Just bang it. Oh, and, look, and there it goes. Look at that. Instant ice. It's sort of spreading out these kind of fingers and shards of ice all the way down. That it's really is... quite amazing. You can see the crystals growing before your very eyes. Ice is a crystal in which the water molecules are very carefully arranged. I mean, if you think of guards on parade, right, all lined up in, in neat rows, that's what a crystal is, and that's what ice is. Like any crystal, ice doesn't form spontaneously, even in this supercooled water, which is well below zero degrees centigrade. It needs a seed, a template. You need someone to kind of blow the whistle and provide an initial point saying, start here. So I bang it, you get bubbles, and each of those bubbles is a place for the crystals Absolutely. to Absolutely. You can do it in other ways, too. Take another bottle, and this time, maybe what we should do is just try dropping another piece of ice into it. So just pop it in. Ready? Steady. It's really the ice which is acting as the initial starting point on which the rest of the ice grows. It's the way the ice crystal forms that is the key to why it floats. Water molecules are loosely held together by bonds which are constantly making and breaking. When the temperature drops to zero, these bonds begin to hold fast, creating a hexagonal lattice, an ice crystal. In the lattice, the bonds hold the molecules far apart. It's that sudden opening out that makes ice lighter, less dense than liquid water. <laughs> 